gonna draw the Lewis structure for iron three chloride. That's F-E-C-L-3. Iron is a metal from the transition metal block at the periodic table. It can have multiple charges. So I want you to look at the formula or the name and tell me what the charge of iron is. If you said it was plus three, you're correct. And I want you to start with Fe having three dots around it. The loss of those three electrons will give it the charge of plus three. If you're being asked for iron two chloride, I want you to start with two valence electrons instead. Get it? Now chlorine is a non-metal. It's from the right-hand side of the periodic table. And in group 17, it brings seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, as an ionic compound, and I know that because this is a metal reacting with a non-metal, there's going to be a transfer of electrons from metal to non-metal. That's how ionic compounds form. Iron is going to want to lose all of its electrons, well, all of its valence electrons, I should say, and chlorine will want a complete octet of eight outer electrons. Now, chlorine already has seven, and again, it wants eight. That's the octet rule. So I want you to draw an arrow from the, one of the electrons on iron to chlorine. Oh, you've completed chlorine's octet. It's now stable. Great. The problem is that this iron here is not yet stable because it still has valence electrons. So I want you to draw as many chlorines as you require, seven electrons each, remember, to absorb all of the electrons from iron. Now this iron only has three valence electrons, so you only need three chlorines, but if for some reason you're uh, your metal had a plus seven charge, you'd probably need seven different chlorines to accept those electrons. Wow. Now, we're not done. We still need to do the actual final Lewis structure. This is just showing the transfer of electrons. You have Fe iron, and I don't want you to put any dots around it because it gave away all its valence shell electrons. But it lost three negatives. That gives it a charge of plus three. Then I want you to draw your chlorines. They had seven valence electrons plus one because it accepted an extra electron from iron. Put it in square brackets to show it's an ion with a minus one charge. And then as annoying as it's going to be, I want you to redraw that three times because you need three of them to accept all of the electrons from iron. There you go. That's your complete Lewis structure for iron-3 chloride. You did it. I knew you could. Best of luck.